Find insight, guidance, and answers. answers. Tune into Spirit with radio medium Laura Lee. Laura Lee. Hey, did you know you have a superpower within you that can help you overcome any challenge? And wouldn't you like to learn how? I recommend you stay tuned in to this 5-Minute Spirit Reboot with myself and my special guest author who wrote Resilience at Work, How to Coach Yourself into a Thriving Future with Mr. Simon T. Bailey. Welcome. Thank you. So good to be with you. It's good to see you again. Simon, tell us about this superpower. So resilience is your superpower. And simply put, it's a belief where you daily choose to be better instead of bitter. Oh, I like that. Tell me how you discovered in your own life that resilience was your superpower. So after many setbacks in life, going through a cancer scare, being divorced after being married for 25 years, being saddled with almost a half a million dollars worth of debt and contemplating suicide, wanted to give up and quit. What I realized is I had a choice. In that choice, I had to wake up and put one foot in front of the other every single day. And you know, John Maxwell said something really powerful. He said, consistency compounds over time. So resilience is this belief to say, I'm going to be a little bit better than I was the day before. And if I just change my mindset and my attitude and my environment, everything is going to get better. It's not going to happen overnight, but that's resilience at work. I've got to share with you, that's been our buzzword in our house since COVID. Wow. We use it all the time. That's why I was really excited to get you on today and talk about it, because I know a lot of people are really struggling out there. So you mentioned that resilience is key to our mental health. Could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Yeah. So the reason it's key to your mental health It's because it allows you to change your self-explanatory language. So think of resilience as life is like a surfboard and you get knocked off your surfboard because of the winds and storms, but it's your mental health that allows you to pop back up and surf again into a better tomorrow. So something practical that you can do is getting centered, taking a deep breath, inhaling, exhale. The second thing you can do is to reflect on what went well today instead of what went wrong today. That mental health habit allows you to say, wait a minute, I can reset, realign, and reemerge for a better tomorrow. And I think the third thing to think about as relates to resilience is just smile, find the joy. Oh, great advice. You also share a parable about four individuals we usually cross when we're navigating our future. Can you share it? So there are four personality archetypes called hurry, worry, ready, and steady. (laughs) (laughs) And these four personality archetypes, they show up at any time. Hurry is always like, I got to go. I got to go. Worry is waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for bad news. Oh my goodness, what did they think? But they meet at a surfing camp in La Jolla, California. Hurry and worry meet ready and steady at the surfing camp. And they want to know, how did you develop this superpower called resilience? So Steady begins to share with them the power of being calm. It's okay to react, just don't overreact. And then Reddy says, listen, life is going to happen, but it's how you choose to get back up and move forward again. Thank you for sharing. I'm glad you were able to condense that. You know, I talk to clients and students that are really struggling, especially they'll call me looking for future advice or how something will turn out. And people have put so much attention and focus on the future instead of right here in the present moment. That's it. Too much talk and focus has been on being purpose driven. I think the pendulum needs to swing back to being presence driven. And when we understand presence driven, we show up every single day to be in the moment and you'll find your purpose to be present to the moment. Thank you for sharing your wisdom, Mr. Simon T. Bailey. Where can people find resilience at work? They can go to Amazon and certainly simontbailey.com. Wonderful. 
Thank you for sharing your time again. And if you like this segment and you want more, please subscribe, please review it, please share it with your friends and family. Thank you and have a lovely day.